What's going on everybody, Sully Ecker here, and I've got a great giveaway. Um, we're going to be giving away a police scanner, and I'm going to pop that up on the screen right now. And a good friend of mine, CB, he donated this um, C, uh, police scanner to me to give back to my subscribers. The, cont the contest rules are going to be, you need to go to my second channel and subscribe there. If you're already a subscriber to Solo Yacker, just send me an email to thearmedfisherman at gmail.com. And when that channel hits a thousand subscribers, I will be giving away the police scanner. And I'm right now, I'm really trying to get this other channel just in case this channel something happens. Um, there will be newer videos on that channel. Um, a little bit, it'll be about the same stuff that you're seeing here now. But I'm going to be putting in certain other little things, little other uh, kind of videos as well. So stay tuned to this channel. Stay tuned to that channel. I've got a lot of great stuff coming for both channels. It should be a great time. Help my other channel, The Armed Fisherman, get to 1,000. And as soon as we do that, we'll give away that police scanner. But like I always say, hit that like, share, and that subscribe button on this channel. And make sure you're hitting that like, share, and that subscribe on the on the Armed Fisherman's channel. And I'm going to get out of here. Solo Yacker. Deuces. Alright. Uh, we've got ZIG50. And I think I'll records request because <laughs> I don't know where they're getting their money from. I don't know if that was donated from whoever, but uh, somebody gave that to them. Somebody gave them the money. I'm living the dream. How are you doing, bud? Good. Yeah, man. Hey, so I consider myself pretty well educated on open carry, and I know you're allowed to open carry. Oh, yeah, perfect, right? perfect. The only thing is, fishing is not actually allowed in this stretch of beach. What's going on, everybody? Soli Ecker here, and as you can see, I'm at the beach. And right now, I am just, I started out in Port St. Lucie. In Port St. Lucie. And now I am walking to Martin County. Well, more changes this weekend for Martin County Beach is effective immediately. Beaches are no longer open to everyone. They will be open only to Martin County residents. And under the Florida Constitution, I believe it's Section 10 or uh, Title 10, Section 11. Hold on. Give me one second. I'm going to pull it out. Yeah, Title, title 10, Section 11. And if you can see that, probably not. It talks about, we're going to put that up on the, on the screen so you can see it. But it talks about sovereignty lands. And what it, is, what it does say is that no county, basically the county, the state owe, owns, the state owns all the way up to where you see that seaweed line. That is where it is all state property. And under the state of emergency, all the counties except for Palm Beach, Broward, Miami-Dade, and Monroe are still under the effect of the state of emergency. Martin County is not. But their county commissioners decided they wanted to create some kind of law, which, you know something, I don't agree with. And they can go kick rocks. I don't care. So we're going to go out here and we're going to test them. We're going to show them the Constitution of Florida and the Constitution of the United States and see if they want to violate it. So don't forget to hit that like, share, and that subscribe button, all that good stuff. And I've got a little bit more walking to do, and uh, we're going to go do some fishing. So uh, I'll catch you on the flip side. Solo Yacker, deuces.
How are you doing? Good. How was the beach? It was good. That's what I'm talking about. Looks beautiful. How y'all doing? Enjoying that water? Oh yeah. What's going on, bud? Nice croaker. Yeah. Dude, oh whiting, yeah, yeah. Friggin' those things are great on a sandwich, man. They're beautiful. Really? What are you guys using? Like fish bites? Yeah, just fish bites and some shrimp. I got fish bites. I'm good. There you go. Yes, bud. Alright. Imagine getting them on a jig and just putting a tip of piece of shrimp, shrimp on it. Fish Done deal. Okay, Sweet. Well, good luck and keep catching them up. Man. Cool, man. guys can see this, you're going to see it pop its friggin' dorsals out, right there. That's a, that's a bull shark, and he's in about a foot and a half of water. Where'd he go? Right there. You see him? That's a bull shark. It's a baby. It's probably about three, four foot long. 
I see a bunch of Spanish mackerel out here jumping. Where'd that bull shark go? And um, if you, I know it's going to be hard to see, but if you can see right in the shallow, it gets really cloudy from all the sand and everything getting turned up. And that is exactly what sharks like to do, is they go for their ambush, and they will find you in that dirty water. The fish will get found in that dirty water, mullet, whatever. And that's how people get bit. They're in shallow water with cloudiness, and a shark mistakes their hand for a fish, or their foot for a fish. I don't know where he went, but, uh, but you can see them out here. They're out here jumping, got a bunch of mackerel. And that's all, that's what it's about, man. I love seeing wildlife jump in. It's life. What's up, bud? How you doing? Oh, yeah. I'm living the dream. How are you doing, bud? Good. Yeah, man. Hey, so I consider myself pretty well educated on open carry, and I know you're allowed to open carry. Oh, yeah, perfect, right? perfect. The only thing is, fishing is not actually allowed in this stretch of beach. Is there an ordinance? There is a county ordinance. Okay. Um, well, what's the ordinance say, though? I that's that's going to be that's gonna be the question. So, my job is to inform you, and I can get the SO if you'd rather talk to the police. I would like to know exactly what the ordinance is and how far I can be from right. said place. Because I don't, I come out here and I go, I, I can see people fishing and I'm trying to stay away. That's why I'm not over there near the people, I'm not over here. I'm trying to stay with, it's I'm clear. Board, 100%. So, our understanding is that it's 50 feet outside the edge of the guard area, and that spans from just past that lifeguard tower by a little ways there's a just small just line. just pat like we're saying like at the shores resort and spa you would be allowed to fish in that area the, and, and then, then and then 50 past this one past the uh, wooden walkway past that lifeguard tower that's okay. my understanding of it all right, right. perfect I'll, I'll go ahead and pack it up and i'll keep moving bud appreciate it thank you man no worries you too
so far, so far so good. No, uh, no questions if I'm a Martin County resident or not. So we got to move down a little bit. That's all right. We will keep on moving. And once again, you have to understand, if they do impose what I don't agree with, if they impose like ordinances where you have to be a certain amount of yards or whatever, you have to obey those. The only way to open carry is to make sure that you're not violating their ordinances. They tell you that there's an ordinance and you try and they figure it out and they explain it to you. Just move down past where the ordinance is. And that's all you got to do. So I'm going to move down past past their uh, little lifeguard stand and I'm going to continue fishing. Nothing's going to stop me today. You got a sand ball there? Is that a sand ball? Are you saving it for mommy? Yeah, I think you're gonna hit mommy with it, right? <laughs> You see all the friggin' Spanish, dude, they're everywhere. Dude, it's insane. I'm like, oh, this is going to be easy pickings. And I'm like, nothing, nothing. I saw a bull shark. I mean, it's probably not a concern. He was past all people. But he was, yeah, it was uh, like where there's nobody. About a three, four foot or just cruising in a foot of water. Yeah, I hate those, man. There's been too many times I'm paddling from surfing. And I'm like, oh, no. I'm like, this is the worst part because I got to stand up. <laughs> Take it easy, bro. Yeah.
bunny. I like your shirt, sir. Oh yeah, they're, they're the craziest looking lizards, aren't they? Oh man, I've never, like, I'm from North Florida and we don't have them like that, you know? Yeah, our lizards are like this big up north. <laughs> Take it easy, folks. I'm going to have to records request that. There's nobody in it. It's just sitting here. There's nobody here today. Huh. We're going to say the operation center. I wish there was a mark, like a number on this thing so I could records request how much this thing cost and who paid for it. Uh, we've got Z I G 50, and I think I'll records request because <laughs> I don't know where they're getting their money from. I don't know if that was donated from whoever, but uh, somebody gave that to them. Somebody gave them the money. I'm, I'm guessing it was probably the state, but you know they're saying it wasn't done with state money, so I guess we'll have to find out. County leaders decided today to reopen its one major public beach that has still been closed off. Also, all beaches in the county will be open to anyone, not just residents. How y'all doing? Oh no, man. There's Spanish mackerel everywhere and they won't eat my bait.
And if you didn't know, I, I, I probably didn't mention it, but there were no police here today checking IDs at the park. So basically anybody could have walked on this beach and had no issues. You know, maybe, maybe the little meeting that I had resonated with them and it stuck in their head. Maybe that's what happened. I don't know. I just know that I called them out on their bull crap and I made it very, very clear that they were violating the oath that they, they took. And maybe, they, maybe they're given leniency. I don't know. I just know that I noticed that there were no police in the parking lot. So, we'll check again. Give it a day or two. I'll go back. I'm not going to stop going back. Until I hear them beaches are completely open for every, every person in America, I won't stop. Because they can't, they can't restrict people like that. It is not their job. They did not swear an oath to it. None of it. But anyway, I've got a, a good little walk, and we're going to take you along for the ride.